I recently got a comment on my YouTube channel from Sachin Sharma and the question is is it necessary to learn Java for Selenium tool and it this was a comment on list of Java topics or concept for Selenium. So Sachin yes I want to highlight this uh, comment because that multiple factors for this particular question. So let me share my views on this. Hey hi everyone my name is Mukesh Shodwani from learnhyperinformation.com. So let me highlight this question and the purpose of highlighting this comment was because there are a lot of I will say discussion happening over the internet that which programming language we choose for Selenium. But before we answer this particular question, I want to highlight it's not a tool. Selenium is actually a testing suite because it has multiple components. Initially it was four, but now we have three. Selenium IDE, then we have Selenium WebDriver and we have Selenium Grid. So for Selenium IDE, you don't need any programming language knowledge. It's a record and playback. It's a browser extension. You can record your execution and you can run as it is. For web driver and grid, yes, you need the programming language. Is it only Java? No. So Selenium supports multiple programming languages. So let me show you. So if you just go to Selenium official website and go to downloads, come down and you will see the different language binding. Selenium support C sharp. Selenium also supports Ruby. It supports Java. It supports Python and JavaScript. So not only Java, if you have experience in any other programming language, you can continue with Selenium. Now, if you ask me personally, what is the demand in the market? So 70 to 80% percent is captured by Selenium with Java, then Selenium with Python, C Sharp and other programming languages. So if you see the market is largely captured by Java. So it is important to learn programming language, but the core part, when I say core part, whatever topics I mentioned in the video, that is important. You don't need to learn JSP, Servlet, Hibernate, all these advanced concepts, which is required for web development. We need the Java core concept, which will help you to create your script, to create a framework, debugging skills. So the list of topics, which I mentioned is more than sufficient to learn Selenium and to build a framework. In case if you're moving to different programming language also, the topics will remain same. The concept will remain same. Obviously the syntax will change. So you will be always getting advantage. Let's say you learn one programming and you're shifting from Java to C sharp, Java to Python. Apart from syntax changes, not much. Okay. So pick any programming language and start learning. If you face any issue, let me know. But uh, if you ask me, it is now not a optional skill. Everybody is expecting you should have some web automation knowledge and Selenium have still have the high demand. I know a lot of tools are coming in the market, which is capturing the market slowly, but it will take a lot of time. So as per the market, you can continue with Selenium with Java continue with the Java, then go with Selenium then start working with test engine, maven, then get GitHub, build your framework, build using design patterns, execute via Jenkins or any other CI CD tool, build your infrastructure and continue. So in this process, if you guys face any issue, let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to make another video on this. Thank you so much for asking this question. If you have any other interesting questions or any basic questions, which you want me to answer in the next video, let me know and I will record a new video for this. Yeah. Thank you so much guys. And in case if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel, share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.